I'm back. Today's active self-protection lesson is made possible thanks to the generosity of sponsors like LuckyGunner.com. Please check out Lucky Gunner for all your ammunition needs. Hey folks, it's Neil. Uh, I'm the uh, Chief Marketing Officer here at Active Self Protection as well as the Director of Training. You may or may not remember me from the FBI challenge that we did at the beginning of this year where we took six weeks of dry fire, followed a process, used the Mantis units uh, if you had them, and then shot the FBI call. I had 11 people that I ran this through um, live here in my state of South Dakota and they all passed. It was a lot of fun. And several of you passed as well. I've spoken to a few of you and it's been just, it's really done my heart well to hear the feedback of the people that have come to me and said, hey, I did your dry fire challenge and it was so fun and I passed the FBI call at 90 or 95 or 100. Um, and it's just been great to see that. Uh, it just really goes to show that if you put the work in dry, uh, it will it will transfer live on the range if you do a, you know, a specific plan uh, to follow along. With that said, I've kind of been off the radar here for a little while working behind the scenes at ASP doing the things that I do with the marketing and all of the rest of that. We've had Brian doing a lot of our Dry Fire Monday stuff, which is awesome, and I have enjoyed that tremendously. Brian is one of my favorite people on the planet. Um, I, if you guys have never trained with him personally, highly recommend it. I have never heard anybody say, boy, I didn't enjoy my class with Brian, because he is just, he's a hoot to train with, and he's a really, really great guy. With all that said, I've got something for you. All right, so you may or may not remember that about a year ago in October of 2019, I went out to Phoenix, took uh, Gabe White's uh, pistol shooting solutions class, that's what it's called, uh, out at uh, Ben Avery with John and Logan. We had a great time. It's a two-day class that uh, really focuses on uh, speed and accuracy and a lot of self-defense, uh, you know, the, the basics, but at a higher level and much more quickly. Uh, Gabe White's well known as one of the fastest people with a pistol on the planet and if you ever get the chance take it spend time with that guy listen to what he has to say I had a blast at it um, I feel like I learned a lot I feel like I got a plan to move forward and I'm excited to go back and so that's what we're doing um, Gabe White has uh, he's the, the the pin guy so if you if you've heard of the the light pin the dark pin or the turbo pin that's Gabe White you earn these pins in Gabe's classes by going to his class and performing uh, with some different drills. There's the bill drill, the immediate capacitation, the failure to stop drill, um, and the split bill drill. And basically your times in these as he tests you through the class uh, are what earn you the, the different levels of pins. The class that I was in had about, I think we had 14 in there. Uh, two people didn't get a pin at all, so it doesn't mean that the dark pin is easy because I got a dark pin. So did John Correa. Um, our buddy Logan got a light pin and he was the fastest and the best of the group that for that whole class. Uh, nobody got a turbo pin except for Gabe. Gabe shot every one of those just like we did and he did them all in turbo time. Uh, so it was really, really interesting. But basically you take those drills, you all, you, we each get two chances at each drill. Um, everything's timed and you take your best four scores out of all those. If you meet the criteria for a turbo, you get a turbo pin. If you meet the criteria for a light pin, you get that. If not, you get a dark. And if you don't meet any of the criteria, you go home pinless and hopefully with a new plan. <laughs> um, I went home with a dark pin. I feel like I just kind of slid in and barely <laughs> got that thing. I feel like I struggled a little bit. Uh, day one, I shot very, very well. Day two, I struggled a little when he introduced some new stuff to us. I struggled with that a little bit. Um, and so I went home with this big plan of I'm going to go do some dry fire and I'm going to come back and I'm going to get a pin and I'm going to, you know, light pin. I'm going to do so much better. Um, and here it is. We are six weeks away as I'm recording this. And I have not, I've, I've done a ton of dry fire. I've been to other classes. I've, I've done, I've done some work, but I didn't do anything focused on, uh, on those drills. And so what I'm going to lead you guys through, and I hope you come along with me, uh, is some dry fire to perform better. Now I'm not looking for a turbo pin. I'm not, that's, I'm not looking for the end result. I'm looking for the process to improve here. Um, if I get a better pin, if I get a light pin or, or, or a turbo, oh man, that, that'd be awesome and it'd be a great feather in my cap. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna focus for the next six weeks on the processes. And when I go to that class, I'm gonna focus on the processes. 
um, and then I'm going to I'm going to take what Gabe teaches me in that class, and I'm going to do better. And and um, as I spoke with Gabe, I've, I've I called and asked if I could have his blessing to make this, and maybe some guidance along the way. And he agreed very graciously. So Gabe is an awesome guy. Thank you for helping me do this as well. I know not everybody's going to have the line to Gabe that I do, but at the end of the day, I hope the line that I have to Gabe will help you guys as well. So we're going to go through some process stuff here. We're going to have some fun while we do it. This is not just a completely dry fire thing. This is not just a mantis thing. You don't have to have a mantis uh, and it won't be six weeks of plain dry fire. I'm going to ask you to go to the range because I'm going to go to the range and I'm going to test some of this work that I've been doing. And so as I get better with the process, I'm hoping that it means that I perform better on the range. Uh, and if the end result is a better pin, then I'm going to be thrilled. Uh, if the end result is that I just perform better and end up at the same pin or no pin at all, I don't care. I, it's, it's not about the pin for me. It's really about going out, having a good time, learning something, and growing my, the base of my skills. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, if you know me and you know John and you know the two of us together, we give each other a super hard time. Uh, I've got a friend named Mike that uh, one of the things that he tells people is that they should suck less. And John's kind of stole that from him and says that to me all the time. So he says, Neil, if you just suck less, you'd be better. <laughs> and and I, it's a total joke, we're friends and it doesn't even bug me a little bit. Uh, but in honor of that and in honor of our friend Mike, I'm calling this the suck less challenge. Uh, and this is for Neil to suck less. Um, I, I don't feel like I really sucked at this thing, but uh, it's kind of a fun play on words and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run this in the same uh, six week format as we did the FBI challenge that we ran earlier in the year. Um, so each week I'm gonna come to you with uh, some video of me doing my practice. You can follow along, you can log in to My Mantis stuff and see how I'm doing as well. Um, but uh, I'm gonna hit the range a couple of times through this and actually test to see how I'm doing and where I'm at, what I can work with. Uh, probably talk to Gabe a few times along the way, probably spend some time on the phone with John. Uh, and of course, I live with Stephanie Widener, who's one of the, you know, one of the better instructors at breaking things down than anybody I know. So uh, she'll come to the reins and I'm sure she'll tell me to keep my shoulder down and watch my elbows and get my sights and check my grip and all of that fun stuff. That's what I'm gonna be working on. Uh, but, it isn't just going out and drawing the gun and going to work. Uh, we really have to have a plan. And so the plan along this one is uh, week one, I'm gonna work on the grip, the sights, and a steady trigger. Um, and with that, I'm gonna add to that the draw. No, in the FBI, that's all we did is, the FBI challenge, all we did was draw and just own that trigger. For the first, oh, it was two weeks of that that one. Uh, this one, I'm gonna assume that, it, now this is a little bit more advanced, I'm gonna assume that you've already got the trigger and that you own that thing and you know what you're doing. We're still gonna focus on it, but we're gonna add to that the draw and the draw to first shot. So for the first week, uh, what I'd like you to do, if you've got a manis, what I'd like you to do is go out and shoot the benchmark and just check and see where you're at. Just get an idea, take your time, no rush on that. Um, and maybe take uh, two minutes, three minutes, of warm up time where you just practice, you know, pressing out, getting a trigger press, pressing, pressing out, getting a trigger press. See your sight every time. The challenge here in this uh, is really gonna be to be brutally, brutally honest with yourself. And I've gotta do it as well. If you don't see your sights when that trigger broke, you don't know where that went for sure. Uh, it, you know, that's, I'm not gonna call it a wasted shot, but I'm gonna call it a shot that it's, probably not as effective as if we saw the trigger press. So we're gonna work through to that. Uh, we're gonna do some of Gabe's drills that he likes and that we run in the class. Uh, he's got his three triggers drill. He's got his uh, sights meet trigger one and sight meets trigger two. You're gonna see a lot of that. You're gonna see a little bit of live fire and you're gonna get some challenges from me along the way. So uh, for week one, what I'm gonna tell you to do, I already said, do a benchmark, get a little bit of warm up, and then I want you to get right into uh, your draw to first shot. Uh, the draw to first shot is a pretty simple one, uh, but I really got to focus on the mechanics. So to kind of give you a bit of an understanding of this, let's just focus on the build drill portion of this tonight. Um, so the build drill, uh, to get a dark pin, you've got to be able to pull your gun from concealment, get six shots into an A zone target uh, in under three and a half seconds. Um, that's pretty spicy for some folks. Uh, and a year ago, that was super spicy for me. Uh, I feel like I've improved a lot on that and I've actually done uh, a few of those since then just because it's a fun drill. You get to burn up some ammo. Eh, it's a little expensive right now, but it is a fun drill to run. 
to get to the light pin, you've got to do it in two and a half seconds. So you got to shave a whole second off of that thing. Uh, and to get a turbo pin, you got to do it in two seconds. So I've got to clear this garment, get this gun out, put it on target, pull the trigger six times, get my hits in under two seconds. Uh, and frankly, the build drill is probably the easiest of the four that Gabe has. So what I really want us to do this first week and what I'm going to do um, is to work on my draw. Now, let me back up just one second here. You're probably watching this uh, sometime in uh, August or September, if you are, of 2020. You're watching this before I take the class. So I'm putting this out here. I'm gonna follow this, this plan that I'm making on my own. I'm getting some input as well from some folks, but uh, I may or not make this thing and it's gonna be kind of fun. And that's why I'm asking some of you to come along with me. If you would like to do this with me, I'd sure appreciate as much company and accountability as I can, because I've got to get some, some work in to make this go. So, uh, so for the first week, uh, the way that we're gonna do this is I'm gonna say, uh, get, your, get your trusty timer. Uh, if you don't have a timer, download one on your phone. That's completely acceptable as well. Find something that has a PAR timer so you can set a beep and then with a second beep at the end of that. Um, and then what we're going to do is start by, and I won't do all of it on here, but you're, we're going to just start by, let me get back just enough that you can see. Yeah, I got some COVID, thanks. Um, okay, so we're going to start, draw, press out, see your sights, click. I should have showed you, I cleared this before. That's, this is a bone stock VP9. That's a mag with the rail adapter for Mantis. Uh, Steph and I just moved and I don't know where my Mantis is yet. And, I don't, and my other VP9 is in the shop. So I am going with a stock VP9. Mm, smells good though. All right, so we are gonna do all of the safe reholstering. Look that thing back in. And what I want you to do is I want you to get 10 good, easy, I don't care what the time is, presses. If you have to, to make a five second one until you see that sight and you get your hit and you are 100% honest that you were on target and I've got some little targets over here on the wall that I'm using. Um, one thing that Gabe will tell you is to get used to pulling the trigger as you're pressing out as the gun is moving. Uh, that's something that helps with the speed. So I want you to get 10 of those nice and easy. See your sight and be honest with yourself. If you didn't see your sight, do another one. Until you've seen your sight 10 times, no need to move on. Uh, and if it takes you 45 minutes to see your sights 10 times, you know what? Call it for the day. That's a great success. You saw your sight 10 times and it's time to move on. Get some sleep, get a little rest, uh, let your brain work that, uh, work the myelination in and come back tomorrow. Uh, if you get your 10 pretty reasonable, and I imagine 99% of you will, uh, then we're going to set our time at, uh, I'm going to tell you to set your, your part time at 1.5 seconds for the first one. Um, and so I got to change mine because I wasn't ready. There we go. So then what I want you to do is I want you to do a one and a half second draw and we're going to do 10 of these and we're just myelinating this movement and we're going to work on check shoulders, check elbows, check the base, check our feet, our hips, make sure everything is right and that we are on target when we break that trigger. So here we go. There we go. I saw my sight. I was on target and I got it in a second and a half. There we go. Got it again. So I'm going to have you do 10 of those. And then what we're going to do is guess what? We're going to go a little quicker. Go down to 1.2 seconds. Knock off three tenths of a second. It's not that much time, but it is going to make you go a little bit more quickly. See how that's a little bit more, little bit, a little bit more spicy. Here we go. I was maybe a little behind it on that one, so I'm going to do one more. There. Saw my sight. It's really weird to lose my optic. I haven't had an optic here for about a week, so um, this is gonna be interesting. I'll have it back next week, maybe. Now, once you get 10 of those, what I want you to do, shocker, spoiler alert, go faster. So now we're gonna go down to a second. So I want a, a one second draw and I want you to see your sights on target. You gotta call your shot. Nice. 
forget about that one. Good. That's gonna be it for this week. I want you to do that at least five days this week. It's gonna give you a great start to the rest of the six weeks. So again, I hope you come along with me, uh, get into the Asp Dry Fire Challenge group with us, follow along, have some fun with it. Uh, post your videos as well, knock yourself out. There's a there's a 3,000 people in there, some really great people that will come along and help you, uh, that can help diagnose challenges or problems that you might have. Uh, but that's also, it's, it's great to have an accountability group. So come join us, uh, follow along on this thing and uh, wish me luck. I'm gonna do the work and we're gonna see what happens. Focus on the process. Don't worry about the, the outcome. Thank you.